everybody, this is Carol from Torchlight Cottage. Today I'm going to show you how to simply dehydrate like spinach leaves, you could do kale. This is red Swiss chard out of my garden and I think this is about the fourth or fifth time I've uh, filled up my dehydrator. This is what was left from the other day that I picked out of my garden. So here we go. It's really easy. I just picked my Swiss chard, cleaned it up real good. I put it in a bowl of water, dunked it, and then I um, drained it a couple times and put it back in the bowl of water just to get all the bugs and any kind of dirt off of it. My uh, dehydrator is a Presto and it is a great one. It is digital so I can pick all kinds of temperatures, all kinds of times, which is really nice with it. I do 135 degrees at seven hours and my kale kale which i've done before or swiss chard this is comes out nice and crispy and that's how you want it then i put it in either my mylar bags that i have one quart size and put a a oxygen absorber in it the little square ones uh, right now I have 300 cc's, but I usually use uh, 100, uh, which I'm picking up, let's see, in a couple weeks from Azure Standard. You can buy those there. Anyways, they're really great to put in crumbled, uh, say if you wanted to do cornbread, you can put some in there. I put fresh kale in my uh, different types of salad mix also with the different dinners that I do. Uh, it gives you more minerals and vitamins and it's something easy that you can set away for um, short term or long term storage. I love it and it works really well. So this is how I do it. Again, 135 degrees at seven hours and I just let it go and I do other things that I need to get done like canning or house cleaning or just life in general. So. Hope you like this video, like, share, subscribe, 